Hey everybody, welcome back to Wargaming Lab. We're continuing with our Germany playthrough and tutorial series. This is part 12. We've been uh, away for a bit. I uh, was away for a work trip and um, just got back recently, had to take care of a few things. And now I have some time to start the series back up again. I appreciate your patience and uh, there's been some requests to see where this goes. So let's get into it. Uh, when we left off, we had started the Battle of France. We've issued orders to our mobile and infantry divisions uh, to start advancing through the Ardennes. We've broken into the um, border area of Belgium. We're going to attack Liège soon here. And then we're attacking uh, Holland as well. So let's just go through it since it's been a bit and just check on where everything's at. So we have subs, a bunch of light cruisers being... Um, rebuilt some heavy cruisers in production infantry and motorized infantry anti-aircraft guns a mountain infantry corps multi-role fighters and some uh, police units in construction our technology is a little bit ahead actually where we want it to be i'm just going to go through and just update these a little bit If we have uh, techs being researched more than a year in advance of their level, which is denoted by this year number, we um, get an inefficiency warning. And you're able to still train those, but um, it's just really inefficient. Let's go through and queue up our research here. More interested in 1940, 41 techs at this uh, stage. So all these 42 projects are pretty inefficient. I think this is really good. It'll make our motorized infantry uh, quite a bit stronger. So integrated armored fighting vehicle support battalion. So that puts a um, a certain amount of armored vehicles, like uh, full-on motor uh, mechanized half tracks, into our motorized infantry, so it makes some kind of a motorized mechanized hybrid. Add some um, fuel use, but and some decreased speed. Not very much though, uh, and but it gives us a bunch more toughness and heart attack. So I think that's worth it. Doing pretty good on armor and artillery technology. Arctic warfare will be necessary for the Eastern Front. And desert when we start helping the Italians. Planes are our bread and butter for Germany, so we need to make sure they're up to date. I normally don't do flying boats, though, or carrier aircraft, because we're not focusing on that. Subs are also very important. We have limited surface ships, but I want to maintain the ones that we do have at pretty high tech levels. I think that's enough technology for now. Let's just go in and check in our on our uh, order of battle here, and then we'll just get started with combat movements. So this campaign is directed underneath uh, Army Group West. And we have Battle of Luxembourg occurring right now. We got infantry and two tank corps, I believe, attacking to break through to Sedan. And then we've broken into Belgium here. Let's issue some orders. 
Okay, our troops in VRVA are being attacked. They should be able to hold. We have another infantry corps moving in there. Oh, those are under attack. So I just issued a <laughs> retreat order accidentally. You gotta just pay attention. Okay, we'll go two speed for the moment. Okay, don't want to forget our naval battle that's occurring up here. Okay, we're naval bombing the, looks like the Danish Navy. Okay, we should win this battle soon to two infantry divisions versus what mostly remains of the Danish army. Still can't get our mountain infantry across. I'm going to check some decisions here. I'm going to get some civilian shipping. It'll give us some basic landing landing uh, ships. Okay, we broke across the Rhine, it looks like. Into Roermond. And as we figured, our uh, the French attacks that were happening in the last episode um, have petered out completely, and you can see that their units on the river have mostly thinned. It's really hard to manage this game at more than one speed in the middle of um, a pretty intense campaign like this, so. And even at one speed, if you take your eyes off of it for too long, it's pretty easy to miss stuff. Okay, we're going to keep up this naval attack here. We'll actually merge some stuff in here, so we're focusing our efforts. Our actual fleets inside um, Kiel are not ready for this engagement, so... Okay, so the... Yeah, these Dutch... Uh, not Dutch, these Belgian motorized divisions are starting to melt. Okay, we'll issue some support attack orders here on uh, Hasselt with um, 10th Corps. That'll give us an envelopment bonus. Oh, actually, it appears that we don't get an envelopment bonus, um, but I'm realizing I made a mistake here, so let's take these three infantry divisions. And we can actually move straight west. And our current, uh, let's see, command and control techs allow us to do that move change in about 14 hours. Okay, the air battles over Luxembourg is going fine. We don't have quite as many fighter fighters as I'd like. To fully cover the front. 
Oh, great. So we captured uh, Venlo as well. So we're cutting into the center of Holland here. Okay, it looks like most of the Dutch army is in Deventer. And they're not doing much. Okay, we've won the frontier battle up north. Yeah, there's those landing ships that we'll be using for Norway. Our uh, coastal subs are totally expendable, so I don't mind using some of them right here. See, we we lost U-10, which is a, you know, 19... 20s era sub and we sunk the HMS Royal Sovereign, so it's definitely worth it. The AI is being really stupid too, they don't have any screening ships on those battleships at all. Okay, so we've won the battle up here. Okay, so looks like continental um, Denmark is pretty much done. Okay, making some really great progress in Luxembourg. Okay, our Stukas are getting damaged a bit now. Yeah, I'm going to pull them out of the line just for a little bit. Our medium bombers are stale mission. Okay, we won the battle in northern Belgium as well, so we're starting to break into the center. Um, the sooner we can get Belgium and Holland out of the war, the better. But the real goal is to get into um, the French rear to pull off that historical development that envelopment that they uh, managed in uh, the Battle of France. Okay, uh, one Dutch division managed to get into Batuve, but we did capture the bridge over Nijmegen, uh, the bridge in Nijmegen over the Rhine. I'm going to actually send... our first motorized corps in right now. I'm going to pull 6th Corps out just to give our um, Panzer Divisions more frontage. Cool, so yeah, now it's just Panzer Divisions in the line.
I'm trying to remember where this 89th division was supposed to go. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Gonna send SG one down south. Still engaging troop. Uh, let's see. These are Danish um, Navy ships in the Balts. We're doing quite a bit of damage. Yeah, it's too bad my light cruisers aren't ready. They're not. Um, able to dip you really get in on this all right so 11th corps attacking Eindhoven Let's see if we can route the Dutch army too. We'll start pulling infantry to divisions out of the line here in the Saar uh, as we extend our front west. Might actually get an overrun here. Depends on how fast 68th can get into Groningen. Looks like they'll be there in two days. Not fast enough. Yeah, the bombers are making kind of a big difference too. There's just one Belgian division left in Luxembourg. And there we go. So as soon as we can get to Sedan, we'll have our breakthrough. Let's just hope the French don't move too many divisions in front of us. Okay, we are being counterattacked by a very weak French mountain division. That should shatter in almost instantly. Okay, great. Let's get second core Panzer Corps moving immediately. And they can move in about 90 hours, which is Unfortunately, a long time. First Panzer Corps is about the same. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, we were in combat for so long, I think that just means that they need time to recover before they can start a new attack. Um, and we just conquered Luxembourg. We knew that already. It's a single territory country, so that's pretty easy.
pretty big air battle here. Yeah, I still can't move though. Okay, so all 10 Panzer Divisions have or move orders to head to Sedan. I think that might actually not be the best strategy though. I'm gonna send 2nd Panzer Corps up to Bastogne. This will help with the infantry attack too. And then I'll issue supporting orders for first motorized. Okay, and then we need to start thinning out our infantry here a little bit. So, 6th Infantry Corps will move into Luxembourg. And then 5th will move up to Saar. 3rd to Saarbrücken. And then 4th Corps is going to cover the border. Okay, the Stukas have cover, recovered a little bit, but I'm going to save them for that first river crossing in Sedan, just so we can get maximum effect. Okay, and we did make it over to Turn Hope. And they'll just help with the envelopment down south right now. Yeah, that's working great. Our officer ratio is a little bit light here. You can see it's at 98%. 100% uh, is obviously ideal, and I'm keeping it around 110% is the best. Verbier. That's great because that puts our Panzer divisions in there without having to fight for it. Oh no, no, that's the defensive battle. Okay, so the offensive battle in Bastogne is about to start. 43 hours. I'm going to move it to two speed and see if we can get things going here. First Panzer's attacking in 36 hours. Still very light infantry divisions in front of us, so hopefully nothing too big. Okay, Tilburg. Okay, so, so there's French divisions all the way up top here, which is actually a good thing. It means that they're diverting their effort across the whole front, so. Our attack recovery time is a little low, so I can, I'm getting these uh, command structure techs up to date here. Um, Supreme Command gives us 12 hours, and Division gives us 6. That'll make a big difference.
Okay, almost there. Okay. Uh, so it looks like there's French strategic bombers attacking one of our uh, cities in Czech Republic. Don't have any anti-aircraft defenses out there. And we don't have fighter coverage for that part, so that's a weakness we'll have to rectify sometime soon. Our most important factories have much better flat cover than that. And fighter cover. Okay, cool. Okay, so our infantry on the frontier is starting to get in place. And Six Corps is actually in position to attack, which is kind of funny, before even the Panzer Divisions are, so. Should be any moment now. Eight hours is fine. I don't want to overload the, the attack frontage with infantry divisions, so I'll just wait seven hours. Two hours and attacking. Okay, two Panzer, two motorized divisions against two understrength French divisions. Should, that should be fine. Okay, and Eleventh uh, Corps is in position to cut off the land route between Holland and the rest of Europe. So let's get started on. Oh, it looks like we did intercept those bombers over here. JG-7 is based in Prague. So we do have fighter cover. Uh, what's the problem? Though? So maybe the mission range wasn't far enough. Okay, so we'll add infantry to the reserve for that attack. Uh, but they're not part of the ongoing battle. You can see they're in reserve, so they're not taking up valuable slots. Okay, we're in our loan. We'll send the rest of Sixth Corps to follow follow through and hold the land behind the tanks. Um, Fifth Corps will move into Luxembourg. Let's get our headquarters units moving, and then we'll use Fourth Corps to cover the frontier. And the Bastogne is where the majority of the Belgian army looks to be, so. I'm actually going to retask 2nd Panzer Corps to try to get behind them. And then the remainder of 1st Motorized will help with that attack on Bastogne. And then we're going to start our attack on Liège, which shouldn't go very fast. There's a lot of fortifications there. But maybe we'll get in. I mean, it's kind of just crappy garrison divisions, though, so. Let's just check our simplified terrain map mode. So we want to use as much non-wooded terrain to get to the coast as possible. So I think our route okay, let's see if we can start a new plan.
route's going to go something like this. So we'll skirt north of these two rivers here in central France. We'll, we'll capture Reims and Lille and then get to Boulogne on the coast. And that should cut off all the divisions north of us. Just checking on our tech level. So we're at Mark E Panzer III, which is the low velocity. I mean, it's an anti-tank gun, but it, I think it's just the 37 mil still. I don't think it's the uh, short 50. But that's normal for this time frame, so. We are up to eight wheel uh, SKDFZ's uh, 232, which is nice. Motorized infantry is just on basic trucks, but we knew that already. And then for our tank destroyer component, we have our Panzer One th uh, 57 pack, which I think is a Czech anti-tank gun. Okay, we won the Battle of Arlon. We've broken kind of into the middle here, but we only have infantry up here, so we can't move too fast. So this is actually a, a, a British division that they've gone over to Belgian command. You can tell from the commander and the name of the division. The AI is known to do that quite often. Okay. So, we've got to our loan. Our attack recovery time is 34 hours. First Panzer Corps is going to have the honor of trying to get into Sedan. The rest of First Motorized will go forward. Yeah, I really wish our attack time was reduced. Uh, by the time Barbarossa starts, we should have it much faster. Okay, Central Holland is starting to fall. So I think we have the Dutch army on the run. I do want to capture Antwerp right away, but we're being attacked, so I'll let those finish first. Kind of a huge traffic jam right here, but that's pretty historically accurate. Our infantry is able to attack. I'm actually going to send them in. It's possible that the combat engineers can get a foothold. Let's check on the world events. So that probably means that China's done. And it looks like it is. Yeah, so the Chinese campaign is done. So what normally happens with AI Japan is it, the AI is very, very bad at managing island garrisons and um, amphibious assault. So the AI Japan usually does a really good job of conquering China, but then kind of fizzles out because it can't really manage the Pacific campaign properly. So I, I've very rarely ever seen Japan do anything close to winning, much less actually conquer the U.S. So the best I've seen the AI do is get the Philippines and all of Indochina um, and Indonesia, but the USAI will eventually island hop to Okinawa and crush them, regardless of how many troops are in continental Asia. So 
we can't really rely on Japan this game. Speaking of Japan, Set up some intelligence too. Uh, no, I'm not going to mess with this right now. I think the uh, diplomacy alone should be fine. Drifting towards us now. They should get back down here soon. Battle of Britta. Okay, so we have two French divisions on the other side of the river in Sedan, and it looks like. Yeah, our infantry are helping quite a bit. Uh, probably due to the engineers, so. A lot of French divisions down here on the border just doing nothing. Okay, here's our naval invasion vessel. Come on, if we can just get across the strait here, we'll do fine. Okay, northern Belgium or northern Denmark is done. Just send these guys back into reserve. We're going to be using them in Sweden, though. Okay, they are moving pretty fast, so they should get across. Okay, let's send our Stukas in, just see if we can kind of shock and awe these guys in Sedan and kick them out. Just for a 24-hour period, just to not overuse them too much. Yeah, that should help quite a bit. Just continuing on with our anti-tank technology. Okay, our two light bomber groups are going to start bombing Copenhagen just to see... What kind of units are there? Uh, not much. Or anything. Oh no, they do have some garrison units. Okay. 
Oh, and there's the Danish army. Okay. Yeah, let's get some ground attack going. I'll send in these bombers too. We'll send in our coastal battleships for um, shore attack as well. Oh, did we just shatter all of them? We did. Amazing. Okay, and we've broken into Sedan, so <laughs> we've pulled it off. Uh, not surprising, considering how inconsistent the AI is, but... Okay, we'll get orders moving shortly here. So we're gonna get into St. Menahul and then try to get into Reims, I can't pronounce that, um, as fast as possible, and then head up toward Cambrai. Oh, the French first uh, armor division's attacking us, but it looks like it's falling apart. Okay, we should get into hostel soon here. Okay, and our defensive battle in Sedan is over, so let's head southwest. Okay, we're taking some pretty bad infantry losses on the border here. But if we can surround this group of the Belgian army, they'll basically be done. And we just won the Battle of Dinan, so we're about to accomplish that. We've also won the Battle of Liege. Liege? Yeah. I think these are mostly command units, so... Let's send out some probing attacks and see what happens. Okay, anti-tank uh, weapons advance. Move those infantry to the top. It's a pretty good technology. Oh, we are getting attacked on the border. Okay. We'll send in some reserves. I'm not too worried about that, though. Saarbrücken is uh, super fortified. Okay, let's get across the channel here. Okay, we've won the Battle of Bastogne. So as soon as our armor got behind them, they panicked and fled. And Hastel. Okay, so Belgium is starting to fall apart. Okay, so where is Second Panzer Corps going? I think they're going to stay in the woods, so they'll go Charville. And we'll send 9th and 10th to uh, Philippeville.
Very nice. Okay, we've cut off Holland now. We'll start attacking Antwerp. As soon as actually, there's no bordering junction here, so let's keep on sending units forward for a second longer. Okay, a lot of really high quality French divisions for some dumb reason are up here. And they're just bleeding themselves dry on our infantry in Holland. Okay, some incoming naval units. Let's queue up some naval attack. That did interrupt our movement, though, unfortunately. Okay, some British heavy bombers just tried to bomb Wuppertal. Uh, it looks like they did bomb Wuppertal. Let's get some anti-aircraft guns going there. Okay, zero hours, so we're about to cross over into the open from Saddam. Send some infantry divisions down there too. Assault weapons for our engineers, that's great. Okay, as usual, very weak French divisions in front of our panzer divisions here, so. Yeah. Okay, Rusendahl is ours. Some more infantry orders are going here in a second. Romania asked to join the Axis, of course. Okay, Louvarden. Okay, we just won that battle, let's start attacking. Small air search radar. Okay, our tank destroyer's got a slight upgrade, but I mean they're basically the same. Okay, first Panzer has made it to St. Menahul. 15 hours this time, not quite as long. Okay, let's get them going to Reims. The infantry will hold the line behind them. We'll get the rest of First Motorized to help with this battle for Charview. Okay, another French armor division getting melted. I think this is the same one as before. Vienna Dicta. Okay, this influences the border adjustments between Romania and Hungary, so we're going to go ahead and do that. 
is going to get a bunch of land on the uh, Ukrainian side of the border once we start that attack. Okay, the frontier, bat the frontier battle in the Tsar is mostly over. We've also won the battle up here, finally. I'm going to stop that attack that's not working that well. These two infantry divisions here are going to just dig in because that's going to be our southern line until we uh, finish the, sur uh, the surrounding of this army up here. They can support with their engineers though. Okay, so this battle's over. getting counterattacked all up here. They really want to restore that line. Just play it conservatively for now. See what happens up here north of Amsterdam. Yeah, Battle of Saarbrücken is over. Cats and Mount. I think this is part of the Maginot Line, so I think an attack here is kind of a waste of resources. Great. Okay, we just don't have enough airfields out here, so these Stukas aren't recovering very well. It's a shame that we need to send them back or they're just going to stay useless. Seventh and sixth are going to head due west to to uh, Hirson, it looks like. Okay, um, looks like the Belgians have exhausted their reserves, so the only divisions in line are are the ones that have organization. So when this battle's over for Namur, um, I think we should be able to get around Brussels pretty easily. Let's start the Battle of Antwerp for real this time. Okay. Another convoy raider. Let's 
Let's see if 4th and 5th Mountain can take Copenhagen on their own. Probably not. Looks like we found a weak point north of Amsterdam, so we'll take advantage of that. Yeah, we need synthetic industry. Just got to get through this crust here and we're going to make it into the rear. Okay, bunch of shattered Dutch divisions behind the line there. Okay, LG1 and LG2 need to recover. This frontal attack is not ideal, but there's no way to get behind Copenhagen. Uh, historically, it would have been naval invaded as well. Uh, also, the Danish just didn't put up this much resistance, but that's all right. Okay, we've made it to Hearsong with six pounds.
Okay, Battle of Namur is over. Okay, first Panzer finally broke into the Reims. Okay. And uh, look, the motorized infantry will hold on to it for the moment. Kind of need this uh, concentration here behind us to go away before we can keep advancing. really stubborn fighting going on right here. I was kind of hoping to have Holland out of the game by now. Okay, Luxembourg is annexed. Okay, we've got some more uh, motorized divisions coming out. We are making progress, and I guess this is good uh, experience for the mountain divisions to fight into a city. Okay, Leuven finally falls. Fifth mountain shattered. Obviously don't want mountain divisions shattered. See if we can get 15th Corps over there. We'll see if we can get um, 14th Corps behind Amsterdam. And uh, seventh course, maybe below Brussels if possible.
Let's form another motorized core. Really stubborn defense right here from the Belgians. I'm kind of impressed. Uh, Belgians and the French. Okay, Copenhagen's over. Okay, we are going to pull off an um, envelopment here, so let's see if we can finish the encirclement. Uh, we've enforced the conquer of Denmark. Okay, just let these guys recover for a bit. We'll start the uh, Scandinavian campaign in a bit. We are taking a beating down here. to send our two motorized divisions down that way. Uh, the ones that are up north are a little bit out of position anyway. After the German occupation of Denmark, British forces swiftly took control of Iceland and the Faroes to counter a German invasion. Okay. Okay, so Holland proper is now totally surrounded. Let's start the battle of Amsterdam. Okay, 
bunch of French armor surrounded in the city. That's great. All the Dutch divisions are already shattered, basically. Okay, we finished our surrounding here. Eighty thousand men, mostly, including some pretty good divisions. So we'll finish that off before we keep advancing west with Second Panzer. Twenty seventh Infantry needs to come out of the line. Might be able to surround um, Amsterdam as well. Attacking Cumbria now with 1st Panzer Corps. Actually going to send 3rd Motorized back down. I really don't want to lose this province. Okay, Cumbria is ours. Brussels is surrounded as well, are about to be, um, but it'll take a while to capture. I may actually stop these attacks and just let it wither. But that's about 115, so thanks for watching. We've broken into the Sedan area, and in the next episode we'll continue on to the Channel Coast and hopefully finish the Battle of France, but that may, that may take a bit longer. We'll see. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this, and uh, always, always down for construction criticism too. I mean, this is a new, a new thing for me, and I really appreciate your input. Uh, see you next time.